Hello everybody and welcome to my Dow of 20 journal. Today is the day. And first of all, I'm really impressed. I cleared my entire inventory. Just have my like the stuff I'm gonna need. But don't worry, I will probably fill it up really soon. The first thing I want to do is introduce the Sanonymous Eye. As you can see, it's made like this with a couple blaze rods, some magma cranes, which is the hardest part. Except the gas tiers, of course. But if you find slimes, you can merge uh, them with blaze powder to get the magma creams. And gas tier is kinda hard to get. As you can see, there's no recipe for it. I'm just spamming my R to point the proof. Point proven, anyway, some size. And it's good for dispelling blaze fireballs and reflects gas fireballs while held. Puts out fires on and around you. And it's gonna be really useful for the place we're going to. Because we're getting some real power. Finally. It's taken forever since I last said I was gonna do that. Like two episodes? Yeah, that's a long time. It's like two weeks. And the first thing that happens is I'm attacked by freaking zombies. Great. Luckily there was no freaking zombie gun that hit me. But anyway, let's see if I have prepared anything or if I even have done anything. I don't think I did. So it shouldn't be anything right there. Yeah, but I prepared. That's what I did. That's why I was so confused like the previous episode because I thought I already done it. But actually I just made the stairs to the place. And of course the Sunless Eye is basically used for defending against gas. Because at the moment I need to get... Oh, gas already. And as you see, you just hold it in your hand and you just bounce on the back. He's as bad as me at hitting. Actually, he's probably better than me. Whatever. Hmm, could check if I have an item against him. And let's check. Don't have any actual freaking bows and stuff. Well, that's a bummer. Because he's gonna keep shooting at me and gonna interrupt me. This is not a good turnout. See if I can get a hit on me. Probably not. What? Did I hit him? I can't really tell. Whatever. Deepest part of lava is what I was, was gonna say before I got interrupted. Really. So you have to make a bridge. Like I said, really risky. I think I said it at least once, but. I think this is about the deepest part. You should make it to in width, just to be sure. If you want to make it extra sure, that I think I might is to do this. Then you can just remove that. And you can go it along these lines. This way I can't actually fall in if I'm pushed something. Which I was... which is basically the reason. Could do it on both sides if I want to. But I'm probably not gonna. I'm just gonna build it like this. Refill my cobblestone. Shift right click to get it to infinite. Well not infinite but so I don't have to put them out every time I run out. Oh I hear another guest. No idea where it is. That sign I should be cautious. So I'm just preparing. This is gonna not gonna take long. This is not the painful build that I'm supposed to make. This is the easy part. And yes, do it like that. Press it from one side at the moment. Actually when I'm building it's not gonna be so safe because 
I have to do the same thing I did in the beginning. Not the safest thing to do. Am I mistaken or is it two? I see you, Bat. I'm kind of worried I was I'm going to be pushed inside lava. They will not be good with all my stuff on me. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Or is it maybe there's some pigman that makes that sound? I kinda doubt it though. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That would do. And one, two, three, four, five. Just making sure I have space to walk on. If I push from that side now, I'm gonna be pushed about here, the max. This is basically why I'm doing this. Then I can mine a hole, like this. Place a cobblestone like that. Grab my machine bag, and as you can see, I prepared with a, gloss, a lot of glass viewers that I showed how to craft last time. And just to make sure, glass around iron. Um, but that's not what I'm going to use in the beginning. I'm going to use a pump. And of course I forgot something. Well, I'm going to place that first. Uh, it needs to be a hole under. That's why I dug out that part. And the f basically the first part is to use the engines, place that pump, and place the engines around. And then you're supposed to use levers to start them. Which I also forgot. Sometimes I freaking hate my memory. Oh well. I can prepare a bit first. Before I get my lost stuff. And it was seven. One, two, three. One, two, three, seven. And just fill it in. I could... Uh, continue on making sure I don't fall in with that around but meh don't feel like it make sure that hole is here place that get pump and there's the engines run like this first part done Let's see if I have anything more useful. And uh, it doesn't look like it. We're gonna need a lot more... Well, not a lot more. Some more golden transport pipes is it. And... I think I'm gonna do that off camera maybe. I kinda don't want to edit this episode because I'm gonna be busy tomorrow. And this is just like the day before and don't have any time really tomorrow. So that's gonna be a bother. But you have to deal with it. So probably gonna this make this as quickly as I can to show you how you get power. And whoop back to the overworld. Oh, it's night. Probably should get some sleep. But that's probably what I'm... The only thing I'm gonna do this time. Is it gonna be... Short, long... Something of the sort. It's not so complicated. It's more like... Just a pain in the ass to make, actually. Good, I should be able to edit tomorrow. Might be a day late, that's it. Ian. Hmm. What was I needing? I was needing flowers. Like bulletproof. Like waterproofing, I mean, not bulletproofing. I 
and do not have any flowers. Just typical. See, I have a lot of sulfur goo, so I could use those to make the grass like this. One flower, two flower. So these flowers is basically two waterproofing. Bit more. And I can't use any flowers either. Oh, we got a lot of flowers now. And let's grab my minimum stone. No, of course you can't. That bug still activate. Um, so I need to get them to be rose reds. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that's not cheating. Then that works at least. But that doesn't work, of course. Because you're supposed to change it. I explained it a bit last time, so I don't have the need to explain this again. But I need them to be a cactus green first. So let's do it like this, just to make it a bit faster. And a bit less spammy in my actual chat. Oops. Num -num -num -num. Then I'm going over here. And a bit. This applies for this too. Of course it does. Now it's exactly the same as I explained last time. Freaking bugs, man. Oh, Pymar, fix it until the next update. I just need a bit glass. Yeah, checking if I have any gold on me. I think the only gold I have is in here. One more. And then I do this. Then I do this. So now I have the waterproofing. Now I just need the levers. That's easy to fix. You just need four. And there we go. Inside I go. So that should be it. I hear you gas, but I can't see you. Freaking uh, That's the worst with gas when you know they're near but they refuse to appear. Like, come here so I can freaking kill you so you stop annoying me. I want to kill that gas so badly. And I already have gas... Not gas, some pigments in my bridge. <coughs> How annoying. When the waterproof is done. The next thing is ender tanks and they basically use... Well, work as... Ender chest, but they work for liquid. So I'm just gonna place them right there I think two in between have a bit sym symmetrical and the waterproofing like this as you can see I've coded them already and you saw me do that and now the actual levers for the engines And you start them basically like this. But I'm not done yet. Oh, that's a magma cream. Magma slime. I mean... Did they jump down actually? Yeah, I did. Lol. I don't need any more magma slime. And I have slimes on me, so... 
If I want magma cream, I can just turn them into magma slime. And jump up. This one part I have to edit. That's what I remembered. And back I go. So, right. Here comes uh, what I have to show you. It's kind of messy and I kind of need my awesome freaking shovel for this. Wherever I put it. Ah, here it is. Because if I don't use this shovel, this is going to pin ass to make. Okay, I think I will have it right here. So first part is to clear uh, the area. I'm probably going to have it on the ground first of all. And that's too close, I realized. So right here. I will not have it too close to my base, but still not far enough away. So pretty close, but not too close. Right, this is perfect actually. And we have more appetite. And basically I'm gonna show you just a bit. As I said, I prepared. First you do this, this, and this. And this. So this structure is a multi-structure. It's gonna be 12 by 12 by 12. So that means 12 blocks that way, 12 blocks that way, and 12 blocks down. And I'm standing in a roof. And it's not counted like this is counted. So this block and 11 down. This block... Well, this bl two blocks and 10 blocks that way. And this two blocks and 10 blocks that way. And it's only the corner, so if I would go on, I would make it like this. And just to show you further down. Like this. So nothing in between where I'm standing at the moment is about to spend. The, and this is the part where I have to edit because it's a big build so you don't want to see me clear out the ground entirely to you. But you will basically see how I'm doing it later. So be right back. And hello guys, I'm back and first thing you notice is I'm making an enchanting table for some reason. The second thing I'm doing with this enchanting table is the following. I'm making what's called a chunk loader. Now, at the moment I'm generating a chunk. It's the chunk I'm standing at the moment. But if I move out of the way, for example, if I go to another chunk, it's just that chunk that's being loaded. But if I place a chunk loader right in this chunk and move to that chunk right over there, um, both chunks will be loaded. So that's a tip how this works. Now they are used for different things because like I said, chunks is not loaded if I'm not standing in them. So that means if I'm in the overworld the chunks in the nether is not loaded. I'm not sure how much chunks you're loading at the moment. I think it's like those around you or something like that. Like a free time free, so nine chunks around you, I guess, or something like that. I'm not sure, but what I'm sure of is if I place a chunk loader uh, in between of those tanks, for example, right here, both tanks are s gonna pump lava for eternity. Well, until the lava in this area runs out, if, even if I'm not standing around there. So that's a good thing to do, because then I can just pump lava and still be in the overworld. And as long as I'm standing next to my tank, it should fill up if I have an iron tank or a side tank. And it's a side tank hint I'm making. And speaking of the side tank, I'm moving to finish it, because I 
actually clear the area and now I need to fill in the blanks because I only made the cor corners, like I said, like the frame. And freaking bats fit me in fire, of course, for some reason. Really annoying those fire bats. I think they should be removed. They don't have any purpose either, that's the thing. But anyway, before I'm heading down there, I'm gonna show you a thing, which is, I have all this stone on me. What if I do, I have this on 5 and 6, so I press 5, store it, and switch to 6 immediately, and double click. And all my cobblestone is stored immediately. That's a neat trick with the barrels. And as you can see, I prepared a bit, but there's something missing. And that's the engineering blocks. I need actually a few stuff more. So I need to store that way, place that, place that in the middle, and a smooth stone like that. Oh wait, it's not smooth stone, I think. Now that I think about it, I think it's stone bricks. And I'm using light, it doesn't really matter, I think. Uh, just to be sure, I'm doing it with blue ones. You know, just to be safe. But let's try this. If I put that in the corner and put this on the sides, I get light engineering br bricks. That's the basic Psy recipe. Uh, if I place them on the corner and the bars like that and the bucket in the middle, I get vaults, so I didn't need the blue ones. That's what I was checking. And you need at least one, and you get four of all this. Because there's four engineering bricks, or four bars, or... Depending on which point you're looking from. Uh, also, I think I have a way to get out of that place. But I'm gonna edit once more. And I made a path right around here. No, oh, that's a corner. Where's the path? Wait, is that the path? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Ha! Huh. Also, I enchanted the uh, shovel. Efficiency 4 and unbreaking 3. Freaking awesome. And as you can see, I cleared a bit of space. You know, just a tiny bit. And by that I mean a lot. And the floor is made of stone bricks, same material as the frames. And that's like the requirement. And uh, next thing you should do is actually have an input. And uh, now the side tank works in kind of logical way because they know if which level the liquid is in. So if I have a output up here and I only have about that block with lava, it's not gonna empty the lava from the tank because it's not up here. So you should place the output put in the bottom and the input should be at the top I think I'm gonna place it on the other side so that makes it oops this side yeah so it's not in a way when I'm handling my output because the output should of course be in so as close to the base as possible basically it's what I'm trying to say before I'm stuttering too much. Oops, that I didn't mean to do that. And uh, let's cover it up a bit. Heh, heh. This is the risk with building really high up. Also, the best output should be in the roof. But I think I'm gonna cover that actually. Somehow with shisted stone brick because the floor and the roof doesn't matter if it's um, fill in or not. But I can't fill in like this and have the rest as glass viewers that you need. So that doesn't work like that. But I can have it right here. Let's see, I have... I think it's a black one. Oh no, it's a white one. Because that's one that have all my glass viewers. And I'm just gonna clear out my inventory of shit I don't really need. Like that smooth stone, like the dirt, like that rotten chest. <laughs> rotten chest? Rotten flesh, I mean. Ah, uh, Jesus. And that's about it. Then I can just fill everything. 
This is a neat feature because I filled my ender tank and you can see it in my inventory it's filled up. So now I know my tank is filled. And I can just make my way down. Doesn't really matter. And I think I should have it like this. Yeah, I only have one input. Hmm. Whatever. I didn't think of that really. I thought I had two inputs. Okay, so I was a bit confused. Then okay, I just jump, jump down and cover it. Oops. There we go. Also, th this took a while. I'm gonna edit again while I'm filling the rest up with class figures. But I'm just before that I'm just gonna show where I should have the output. I think I should have it in this corner. So it doesn't have to be in the middle like I did right there. It can just be in a corner like this. Which is pretty good to know. But anyway, see you when I'm done. And so the entire tank is complete. And as you can see I filled the roof in and don't ask me how it was real painful. I had to make a bridge of cobblestone. And I explained it anyway, so whatever. And the only thing I have to do now is actually check if it works. And you just do that by right clicking on one of these valves. And as you can see it's a nice particle effect run it and that's how you can tell it's working. And then you just place the tank. And you need an engine. And you need a redstone signal. Then you just... What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I was flying around placing everything. Don't worry, I created the engine and stuff. Let you miss it. And can't really prove it though. Wait, I... There we go. I forgot to freaking... <laughs> My memory is the worst. I'm like, hmm... I think I forget how to <laughs> delete the items for a while. But anyway, it's all legit now. And I should actually throw away some of this stone I used. And some of the glass. There was some part it was tricky and it's like ah, annoying. But it's working for the moment. And it's filling up really slowly I can see, but this can hold sixteen thousand buckets of lava. So that's something to argue about. And it's gonna last for a long while, trust me. But let's ignore that and let's go up. I'm gonna leave that for the moment. But I'm gonna prepare now for the next episode because, uh, like I said, I don't want to drag with this too much. But I'm gonna just show you some of the stuff I'm gonna do next time, or make it in advance. Well, I'm gonna prepare a bit because my lava needs to fill up, and it's kind of a drag to wait for it. So what that is doing, I need some redstone. Alright, shoot. I think I can't do it at the moment. Yeah. There's a thing I have to do before that next time. So I think I'm gonna prepare for it though. That has something to do with soul sand. And I have done it before. Because I'm getting some more spawners uh, until next time. And I'm gonna need um, to make another sp uh, spawner, basically. Because I'm out of redstone and I don't feel like mining when there's a more efficient way to do it. So next time I'm gonna prepare another spawner. And then I'm just gonna show you how to get up and then I'm gonna start hooking up my power system. But that's for next time. However, I can prepare a while. I'm always up for preparing and like making sure I have everything. Sometimes I fail with it, but whatever. 
I'm gonna make two spawners in some future, so be ready for that. But I'm gonna start with one. It's diamonds I'm looking for. They're in here. They're kind of forgot that. And then I need eight of them. So that is cooking up. Prepare with some glowstone if I have. Well, I'm not out of that. That's good. So six, seven. I've been doing pretty fine without this spawn that I'm going for, because usually I'm making it uh, much e like faster. Crops essence. Put in my stone forge. I have a stone forge already. Huh, that's nice. But let's start with one. Can throw both in. Doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna sort the wire. That's what I'm doing at the moment, I think. I could do something else. There's just part I actually don't you to start this early. But I think I should. I'm probably gonna have a much need for it later. And you should actually start really early with it. So I'm just gonna show you how to make the first step. And first of all you need clay. I think I need even more clay actually. And you need to melt it. That's basically what I'm saying. Let's start with 64. I think that's not enough actually. And then I'm gonna start with getting sand. And because I need to make sand and bricks. So why don't I come back when that is done? Deal? Okay, then I'm just gonna make one more thing. And then I think I'll wrap up this, this episode. Yeah, that works. Well, be right back. And I'm back to show you the wonderful thing I'm gonna make this time. And as I can see, I actually don't have enough, I think. So I'm gonna melt some more. But... I don't think I need much more. I'm not sure. Because I'm not sure with the math. I think it's enough. Where is it? I have no idea how much I need. But you do it like this basically and you get cocoa and brick and multi block, three time three and time three and the middle is hollow. So I have no idea how much bricks I need. Whatever. Let's try it. Anyway, I'm gonna place it right here in this corner, I think. Or should I place it? I guess I could place it right here when I think about it. Yeah, that works. One, two, three. Especially like this. And then I have this shovel that fixed this really easy. Hmm, how do I get up? I just build my well up. That should work. So I need about... Nine... Ten more. Is the count is. So let's get that. Let's place that. So it wasn't enough. One, two, five. Well, it's cooking up pretty fast, so I guess I'm fine. That looks kind of nice. <laughs> so that's one. Just getting two more. I'm gonna sort the rest of the stuff. That's because I have a spare time. This is the random chest. I should keep that actually. It should be in machine parts, whatever. And while I'm waiting anyway, 
Tom's done. It's a bit more. So I need four more. I think that's to do it. I needed five, and I have four. Ah, perfect. I was afraid I was gonna cook too much clay. Oh my god, that zombie's annoying. Come here. Come here, freaking. There we go. And five. And coke oven. And what you do is basically put coal in it. Let's see, I have 13. And you create coal coke. And it's gonna be pretty useful later. Not at the moment. And as you can see, it's tank and that's gonna become creosote. Then we just do this. Hmm, should I make it a bit bigger? Yeah, sure. I'm just making another tank. So I'm gonna make it a bit bigger, like I said. So basically that big. And I think I'm gonna make it this deep. Because stone is a pain in the ass um, building. And I have stone bricks, so I was planning on wasting it. And of course, where is that? And I'm just gonna have a waterproofing, stone waterproofing thing. should work, I think. I should actually switch boots. Do I have my Volve? Yes, I have. Switch should switch boots. Yes. Because then I can jump over. The only thing I really need is a flower. That should be pretty easy to get. I'm just missing flowers. Huh. Whatever. And of course I got the wrong flower. God damn it. I'm stealing one of those. Sue me. And this is officially me making cactus green immediately. Getting back my machine bag. I should go in. Don't want a creeper blowing up my stuff, you know. Getting one of those. Getting my waterproof thingy. Going for over here for a quickie. Getting rid of my freaking sand. So to those. One piston. Nothing stone. Ah, oh, great. Get rid of that. Cobblestone. Didn't I have... I had a bit redstone left. There we go. Put that right there. Get that. Put that right there. Put the gears right there. Put that right there. And I should have glass somewhere. 
Oh, that's paints. Where did my freaking... Glass viewers, I'm gonna need those. Give me normal glass. I swear to god I have normal glass. Where? I have no idea. <sighs> you know what, I can finish that off camera because you have seen me make a side tank. I just wanted to prove it doesn't have to be that big. But I made a coke oven and see I made creosote oil and cold coke. And creosote oil is the byproduct from the cold coke. But next time I'm making reed power because it's freaking awesome. I was gonna show it now but I didn't have the redstone for it. So I have to show you next time. And and to do that, I'm getting another spawner next time. So tune in later. Bye-bye. See you next time. See ya.